Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So anyway, another matter they talked about is water. I'm not too sure what, what the issue there is, but we'll establish what the issue is and the roads. And I'm sure there are other things. So I'm suggesting, Minister, acting minister, that from here we chat with uh, investors, create a small team, a resolution team, to resolve outstanding matters. So that when we resolve those matters or we put in place a, a mechanism for resolving those matters, we can encourage this investor to bring more investments here. So, sir, we need more money here. Please tell him in Chinese. We need more money here. We need more investment here. So, does he agree? Does he agree? He has agreed. Go and say that he has agreed. Yes, His Excellency, our chairman said, yes, he agreed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Didn't I tell you I'm the chief salesman and investment officer? I'm doing my job. That's what you elected me to do. So we we'll include that in the small resolution team, what additional investments are coming on which area we know the mine, the iron ore mine, what else? That's how you bring investment. It's as simple as that. Okay. Sounds simple, but it's complicated, but that's what it is. I think I've said what I wanted to say. At this gesture, once more, to congratulate the promoters, congratulate government partners, suppliers. I know there are suppliers here of all sorts of things. The workers, I want to congratulate my fellow citizens who are working here to work hard, encourage them to work hard to make this business succeed. When it succeeds, the motivation will be there to do more. I tell my nephews who want to be cattle men like me, I said, you, you must look after my cattle properly so you can learn from here. When it's your time to look after your cattle, you will know the art of looking after cattle. So everybody associated with this business, let's put in our best. We learn a lot of things. This morning myself, I've learned a lot of things as I went around there, a lot of things. And my brain is moving this way, that way. I'm racking a few things. I said, ah, right, we can move certain things much quicker. One of Minister of Commerce, Minister of Finance, Mines, of course, Labor, everybody, water, media, all my colleagues in the public sector, we must deliberately drive more investments and projects outside of Lusaka, outside of Central Province, outside of Copper Belt, outside of Northwestern. Let's spread investments across the country so that people don't have to travel to Lusaka, to Kabwe now, to Copper Belt, to Northwestern, looking for jobs. Let a lot of our young professionals stay in their provinces because there are opportunities there in their provinces. So let's take more investments in those, in those provinces. Are we agreed? I did hint to my colleagues here that CDF, we now need to link it to schools like what they're set, setting up. Mamba has a very good technical skill, skills school. Remember, this country is short of technical skills, artisanal skills. 
So the CDF initiative where we are locating money to train our young guys who can go to university or college, now is the opportunity to get them to train through the CDF funding in institutions and technical schools that will be established here, Mamba, in CNMC in Luansha. Very good school we went to open there in Lumana, the school. I looked at it, female drivers of trucks, dump trucks, 300 tons. Young women are proudly drivers, trained by Lumana. So if we link this to CDF, then we have an opportunity to get the young people to have better skills training, plus an opportunity for a job. Imagine CDF-sponsored guys are learning at a school which will be established here. Some of them will end up, when they complete, being employed right here, isn't it? Madam Tamatama, if I were you, I will go back in my, to my house and think through quickly and send my CDF students, artisanal students, to the right technical schools. I'm aware some of our kids are being sent to backyards, non-existent, non-certified skills training. You are killing those young people. Send them to these schools, immediately they have a better opportunity for a job. Even to learn the business, to learn the art. Let us be a practical nation. Let us not be a nation of social media. TikTok, 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 zero one TikTok. Even a lot of lies, eh? There is Chipo there. Chipo, can you stand up? Can you face the crowd this side? Does she look pregnant, that young lady? <laughs> Honestly speaking, we better grow up as a nation, right? We really need to grow up. And I've asked the Minister of Home Affairs to lock up people who are breaking laws. And I've no shame in saying that, including Zikta. You can't hide behind the phone and abuse a young person like that. You can abuse me, it's okay. I'm used to that. I can take it. But you could destroy a young person like that. Who is in mourning? And you are happily doing that. And when you are pursued, you say, no, no, no. My democratic rights are, are taken out. What about her democratic rights? What about her liberties and her freedoms? So I'm saying this deliberately to say, let's focus our time and energy on productive things. Hmm? Such as learning from today's function. What can we do better elsewhere? PDU. No need for squabbles. Let's focus our minds on the work. We're all friends. We're all family here. Zambian family. Sadiq family, Africa family, global family. These Chinese are our family members. I want to believe President Xi Jinping is my family member. That's why we are able to agree things quickly. That's what you see here. It's because of the strategic relationship, the comprehensive, strategic and cooperative partnership we signed with China last year which most African countries have only signed this year in September. We signed last year, 2023. And you see a lot of traction now. We're one family, global family. Let's focus on serious things, fellow citizens. Let's provide leadership. Let's work hard, very hard. Let's work smart. With these words, I officially declare the PB the PDV Metals Plant officially opened, and congratulations. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.